Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem using the method of variation of parameters. The question is d square minus 6d plus 9 into y equal to e power 3x by x square. Now, as a first part, we have to write the auxiliary equation where it is m square minus 6m plus 9 equal to 0 which is m minus 3 whole square equal to 0. So we get two values for m. Both are 3. Now coming to the complementary function c1 plus c2x into e power mx and m value is 3. Let us multiply this inside. So we get c1 e power 3x plus c2 x into e power 3x. Let us compare this complementary function with the general form. General form is c1 f1 plus c2 f2. By comparison, we get f1 and f2. f1 is e power 3x and f2 is x into e power 3x. Now, pi particular integral is p f1 plus q f2. So finding p we have a formula minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and q is integral f1 into x dx divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. Since both the denominators are same, before finding p and q, it is better to find this term separately. f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. This is e power 3x into x e power 3x whole dash minus e power 3x dash into x into e power 3x. Now e power 3x and derivative for this we have to do product rule x into e power 3x into 3 plus e power 3x into 1. Then derivative of this is e power 3x into 3 and the last term as it is. Now we have to multiply this e power this is e power 3x e power 3x inside so we get 3x e power will add the power so 6x plus e power 6x minus 3x e power here also we add the power since bases are same we add the power so e power 6x we can cancel these two terms and finally we left with e power 6x now coming to p minus integral f2 into x dx divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and here minus f2 is x into e power 3x and x is e power 3x by x square so e power 3x by x square whole divided by e power 6x into dx. So when I combine this in the numerator it is going to be x actually you can cancel on x. So we have e power 3x plus 3x is 6x in the numerator and denominator that is only x and e power 6x dx. So we can cancel these two. After that we left with 1 by x. 1 by x integration is log x. So minus log x. We got the value of p. Similarly q is integral f1 into x dx divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. And here this is e power 3x into e power 3x by x square along with that in the denominator 
the entire term is e power 6x. Now we can cancel these two. We left with 1 by x square. Its integration is minus 1 by x. Now writing pi is p into f1. p is minus log x. So minus log x into f1 is e power 3x plus q. q is minus 1 by x into f2 is x into e power 3x. We can cancel these two and finally we get minus e power x log x and minus sorry e power 3x log x minus e power 3x. Now the complete solution y equal to cf plus pi. So y equal to cf is c1 e power 3x plus c2 x into e power 3x minus e power 3x into log x minus e power 3x. Since we have two like terms, it is easy to combine this c1 e power 3x and minus e power 3x. So y equal to c1 minus 1 into e power 3x. Then c2 we will write as it is c2 into x e power 3x and e power 3x into log x is the another term. So we can take this constant c1 minus 1 as a and c2 as b so that our complete solution is a e power 3x plus b x e power 3x and the last term minus e power 3x into log x.